so uh, what we will be doing is that uh, we will just one minute there is we'll study about object creation and how do you identify the objects and all uh, today okay so uh, once uh, you have actually um, suppose you, you have gone to a website okay you have gone to a website and over here you, you have printed the title after that you have to interact with the objects um, and all everything okay right so after that okay if after this if you have to interact with the objects you need to understand right how objects are identified in selenium okay right now everything everything in selenium right falls uh, is known as an object everything on a browser is known as an object okay it's not just about selenium it's about all the automation tools a button is an object a link is an object text on the browser is an object technically we call everything as an object in QTP also in selenium also right and in selenium we call all the objects as web elements as well don't confuse it with the web element of QTP if you know QTP it is a very different thing okay if you are aware of QTP then don't confuse this with web element of QTP okay so in selenium everything is technically known as an object okay right as well as a web element fine okay now uh, how do you recognize these web elements how do you extract these web elements right to understand that you need to understand how selenium works okay selenium is an automation testing tool only for web based applications okay for example if I go to my website qtpselenium.com right now if selenium is asked to just uh, click on any link over here or something right then selenium will work on the page source this is the HTML page source of our website okay and in the page source you have got various tags and attributes what do you understand by tags and attributes for example this is a div tag okay and whatever starts with the conical bracket in HTML is known as a tag name alright and this is an attribute of that particular tag class is one attribute of the div tag a tag can have one or many attributes zero or two many attributes for example this is an anchor tag all I think almost everybody would know right that this is an anchor tag whose class is this href is this anchor tag means a link okay this link has got two attributes class and href if you don't know about HTML you can go to any basic HTML tutorial on W3 schools just have a look at it otherwise I am also explaining you okay so there can be tags under tags for example this body tag starts over here and it will end somewhere at the bottom of the page okay right so for example uh, this div class it starts over here div class it ends over here and in between there are various other tags so all the tags over here okay this ul tag has got no attribute nothing okay it starts over here it ends over here this li tag it's got a class okay and so this is how you actually go and um, understand 
right that how objects are recognized on a web page okay right uh, for example uh, you will have to use the combination of the tag name and the attributes to identify the objects or the web elements okay now if you look at the documentation of selenium right if you go to the official website of selenium hq.org if you go there right le let me just uh, make a new project hold on new java project over here call it day 4 and in day 4 i will add the jar files okay right and uh, i will just make a new class let's take a simple example very simple example of the gmail login page okay try to fire, type the user id or something in gmail okay now uh, if you go to the official website of selenium fine and if you go to the java docs this is the java doc you go out here and uh, one thing guys um, out here you can add java docs to eclipse as well you don't have to actually go to and fro in selenium website okay you can add these java documentation of selenium in eclipse okay when you click on the link whatever url opens fine copy that url go to eclipse fine and after going to eclipse right click on the project go to the properties and go to the main selenium jar file okay this is the main selenium jar file expand it and you will see the java doc location fine edit this and paste the url of which you had copied and remove index.html from the end you don't need to put index.html in the end and click on validate button so it will say location likely valid so it's good we are good so when we uh, click on ok over here then ok over here right now java docs have been included in this project okay suppose if i create the object of firefox driver or i just write over here web driver driver equals to new firefox driver as i told you yesterday web driver is the interface and firefox driver is the class implementing the interface right okay so uh, now if you move your mouse over web driver you will see the description of web driver coming up if you move your mouse over firefox driver you will see the description of this is coming from the java docs if you write driver dot you will get various functions and if you click on these functions you will get the documentation for every function over here okay and if you click on any link for example this is a web element class right so you will go over here and you will see that the documentation opens inside eclipse okay if you go to the frames view you will actually get all the documentation over here so you don't need to go back and forth to the uh, you can say you can you don't need to go to the selenium hq website again and again okay right so this is your uh, web element in this 
ओके वेब एलिमेंट इज अ इन बिल्ट इंटरफेस ओके इन साइड सिलेनियम एंड दिस वेब एलिमेंट इंटरफेस इट बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंट एन एच टी एम एल एलिमेंट ओके इट्स गॉट जेनरिक फंक्शन विच कैन बी अप्लाइड ऑन एनी कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द पेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ फंक्शन लाइक क्लिक यू कैन क्लिक ऑन अ बटन अ लिंक अ रेडियो बटन अ चेक बॉक्स राइट और एनी वेयर ऑन द पेज क्लियर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्लियर द वैल्यू ऑफ अ टेक्सट फील्ड और समथिंग राइट गेट लोकेशन विल गिव यू एक्स एंड वाई कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ द एलिमेंट राइट सो दिस इज हाउ फाइन दिस इज हाउ इट वर्क्स ओके नाउ हाउ डू यू यूज दिस वेब एलिमेंट प्रैक्टिकली ऑल राइट फाइन इफ आई एम राइटिंग दिस कोड ओवर हेयर इन माई एक्लिप्स दैट आई एम ओपनिंग फाइव फॉक्स एंड आई एम गोइंग टू द वेबसाइट से एच टी टी पी जी मेल डॉट कॉम now after going to gmail.com you have to type in right uh, the user id password and all these things right fine so how do you do that how do you interact with the page fine so to do that you need to understand how to inspect the page okay if i am going to gmail website okay and i this is the welcome page of gmail i want to inspect this user id field the attributes and everything of this field so that i can make it un, uh, like uh, i can use it with selenium right to inspect this you need to install an add on on firefox okay right Uh, you, that add-on is known as Firebug. I think may, many of you must be having that. Okay, I'll just install. I'll just show you how to install. Oh, install over here. Um, you can just write over here. Firefox. Firebug. Okay, go to the first link over here. and add it to firefox click on add to firefox it will get added in case you have an older version of firefox you can scroll down and select the add on which you want okay once you install it you have an icon over here this is the icon okay uh, this one then icon over here this is the firebug icon you can click on it and firebug will open up there will be various tabs in it go to the html tab and you will have a small arrow out here okay you click on the arrow and after clicking wherever you go on the page right Fire firebug will give you a html page source of that particular area for example i go to gmail right and okay and on gmail if i investigate this user id field then this user id field it shows that it is it is an input tag okay right so if you have to like if if you look carefully then this uh, tag has got various attributes like email name this is this is the id of the tag okay if you, if an attribute if an element is having an id it becomes very easy to identify it or if an element has got a name okay right because if you look at the documentation of selenium fine then in documentation if you go to the interface web driver okay in interface web driver you have got a command known as 
find element okay right we this find element function it it goes ahead and finds the first web element given the method and it returns you a web element okay now how does it finds the element it finds the element using the by class if you look at the by class by class is another class inside the selenium api hold on it's just gone blank right so this is the by class okay fine and inside this class you have got various criterias with which you can identify the element okay if you look at this the first line says that it contains the mechanisms to locate the elements within a document right so uh, out here the mechanisms are you can like for example one of the mechanisms is id you can actually locate the element inside the page with the help of id or the name so what we do is that okay we write like this in eclipse we write over here driver dot find element by which criteria there are many criteria all the functions in the by class are static you can call them with the class name okay you can write by the id and the id of the email field is this is the id okay in in firebug i just saw that the id of the email field is this so you can specify the id out here so the find element function returns you the object of web element okay right so you write over here web element object reference of web element known as email equals to this so you will get the email id field with this what do you want to do in the email id field suppose i want to type something so you can use the web element functions now web element on a web element you can fire many functions okay right this is a web element interface i told you there are many functions which can which are available for web element get the size of the element get the tag name get the text whether it is displayed fine so i can fire a function for example email dot send keys send keys function is used to simulate typing into the element okay so you write send keys and you just type anything so that will be written inside the text field so when you run this code it will run it will go to gmail and just type hello inside the text field so look i am teaching you the very basics right now okay many of you might be knowing this many of you might not be knowing this okay so if it's it's typed hello suppose you want to get the x and y coordinate of the email field okay so you can write email field the web element email dot get location dot x will give you the x coordinate okay and int y coordinate will be email dot get location dot y so you can also print the x and y coordinates sometimes you you have to okay sometimes you have to uh, actually go and uh, 
say scroll an element or something the requirement is there over there you have to get the x and y coordinates and especially in appium appium is a tool which is on which is used to uh, automate uh, mobile apps it is it is built on top of uh, selenium okay over there in mobile you need to get the coordinates of the elements and also x, this command is used over there a lot right suppose after typing hello if you want to clear the value of a text field so you can write email dot clear so this will clear the value of the text field as well so if I run my program it will type very fast and clear it immediately right so um, hold on see it was very fast actually okay it just wrote and it cleared the value right so uh, why this clear is used okay right so, um, the clear is used because um, if you have a text field in which something is already written okay and if you want to type further into it or type something new for example in this text field I write hello and then I write world okay I will not clear the text field you yourself see the output what happens it will not be that world will replace hello world will be appended to hello okay these are small things which confuse people you see that fine so this is how hold on you see that hello world is typed over here okay right so it appends so if you, if you want to clear it you have to use clear first and uh, then go for it right so now how do you identify the objects in chrome right okay uh, well to identify the objects in chrome uh, you need to actually hold on I, I, I'll talk about it in chrome in some time right let me let me move further on with this okay now I've just introduced by ID now there are other criteria as well to identify the object for example by name okay you can write by dot name also luckily for this particular example right uh, the name of the text field is also email if you look at this text field then the name is also email name and ID if any object is having it becomes really easy to identify that but if it is not having right so you need to use xpath or CSS selector there are various other things okay so um, if I talk about xpaths right before talking about xpaths let me talk about how do you identify it in chrome first of all uh, if you identify the object in Firefox then you can use the object in other browsers as well because the page source of the website is same across the browsers okay it won't be that this email ID field would be having different ID or different name in case of Chrome and I it will never happen like that okay so uh, what you will do is that okay you will do is that you will have to uh, or you can you can identify the objects in Mozilla and you can use them across different browsers right okay for example I create the object of chrome driver over here just a minute now I never inspected this object on chrome but I will create the object of chrome driver set the system property for chrome 
and when I run it, okay, so you will see that it got minimized. Hold on, see Chrome opens. You see that it types hello world right okay so you can identify the object in one browser and use it across different browsers as well okay it is not that you can only if you want to run on Chrome you have to identify on the Chrome because the page source the HTML source is same across all the browsers right now in Chrome in case you have to in inspect the element okay if you have to inspect the element then you need to right click on any element for example I right click on the next button and say inspect right so over here right you will get the element highlighted see the ID and the name and all everything is same okay for this element right okay so you can right click on any element and inspect it in case of i let me open i right in case of i you have got i developer tool if you hit F12 of I if after opening I if you hit F12 you will get a window like this right and in this window you can click on this arrow and then you can move the mouse over very various elements and you can identify those elements but generally what happens is that it is easier to identify the elements in Firefox we use Firefox and then use the same script to run on Chrome and I okay until or unless the website is not supporting Firefox in case in that case then you have to use the specific browser because Firebug makes our work really easy okay right so now hold on let me explain you what if an element is having no ID or name over here we were actually very lucky this element had a name okay now what if the element is not having any ID or name alright